Hi guys, welcome to episode number three of Friday Favorites. Last week, the most popular house by far was the Fixer Upper in Porchester. So I figured I'd give the people what they want and we'll talk about two more Fixer Uppers in the area, one in White Plains and one in Rybrook. Today, I'm also gonna talk about the real estate term highest and best. I find that as a buyer, uh, it's extremely important to be educated in the market, but it's also extremely important to understand every possible situation that might come up during the whole buying process. If you don't know what highest and best means and you are actively looking for a property, I would stay tuned. If you do know what it means, or if you just don't care, I won't be offended. Click the link in my bio, click Friday Favorites, and you'll be taken to my public collection. Visit my profile, click my link in profile, then click Friday Favorites. Now you will be taken to my public collection. Here are all the properties that I just talked about. If you click the comment button, you can see what my thoughts are for each property. Highest and best, the short and simple answer. This is when a seller receives more than one offer on their property. They then go back to all interested buyers and say, please submit your highest and best offer by a particular date and time. So as a buyer, you have a couple of options. You can leave your offer exactly where it is because that's where you feel comfortable and that's fine. You can choose to increase your purchase price. You also can choose to change around some of your terms. Terms are things like how quickly can you close? Do you have a mortgage contingency? When can you inspect? Is your attorney ready and waiting to receive contracts? These are all things that are very important to a seller. And let me tell you, I have won highest to best before with great terms and the lowest offer. So let's talk about some houses. The first house I'm gonna talk about is 320 Betsy Brown Road in Rybrook. This is a great entry level home in the Blindberg School District. A lot of the updates here I think are cosmetic. So uh, redoing the floors, painting, um, maybe reglazing the tile in the bathroom at first instead of replacing everything. And then I think down the line you could do things like renovate the kitchen. And if you wanna be adventurous, look into vaulting the ceilings in the living room. The next house I'm gonna talk about is 65 Jennings in White Plains. Uh, the pictures do not do this house justice. It is super cute. It's your traditional cape layout and it's on a great lot. Um, one thing to know is that they just ripped up all of the carpets to reveal hardwoods on the first floor. Um, the bathrooms are renovated about 15 years ago. They're neutral colors, so they're not too bad. Um, the big ticket item here though is going to be your kitchen. You're definitely gonna to wanna to look into knocking some walls down to give you an open floor plan. That's it for Friday favorites today. Typically, I know I usually give you three options and today was only two. I had planned on one, but after seeing it, I just didn't love the layout and I really wanna give you guys the good stuff. So thanks again for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about these properties or anything else you'd like me to look into.